Now let me explain the replacement principle. There are two rooms. In room one there are 40 boys and in room two there are 30 girls. In the beginning, five boys go to room two. Then five students, including boys and the girls, five students come to room one. In the beginning there are 40 boys in room one. In the end there are 40 students in room one. In the beginning there are 30 girls in room two and in the end there are 30 students in room two. Some boys and girls they have changed their places. Okay. The question is there will be girls in room one, there will be boys in room two and which will be greater? Number of girls in room one or number of boys in room two? That is the question. And surprisingly the answer is they will be equal. That is, number of girls in room 1 will be the same as number of boys in room 2. Why? Say, some girls have come to room 1. Has the strength decreased or increased there? No. It remains 30 in the beginning, it remains 30 in the end. Therefore, those girls who have come from room 2 to room 1 are replaced by whom? Boys. So they are replaced by boys from room 1 to room 2. Then only the strength will remain the same. So by the principle of replacement, the number of girls in room 1 will be the same as number of boys in room 2. Think differently.